and welcome to The Commitments by Alan Parker. And Alan Parker is a familiar name. I mean, I have only watched one film by him, which is The Life of David Gale, but it was great. Now this one, and this one is a music film. And Alan Parker is uh, familiar with music films <laughs> because he did uh, here uh, Pink Floyd The Wall and Another Brick in the Mall Part 2 and Hey You. So he has some experience with music. Yeah, what I know about this film is that a guy from Ireland tries to make a band. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, uh, so a lot of music in it, which can be a little problematic on YouTube because YouTube only allows six seconds, seven at the at the maximum. Yeah, that's a little tricky. Let's say that. And other than that, oh yeah, nominated for an Oscar. Uh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, and other than that, I don't know what else to say. So. Let's rock! The commitments. Alright. From the novel? Okay, alright. <laughs> Already a feel good vibe from the beginning. Okay, so he's the main guy, Jimmy, who uh, wants to create the band. Fuck off! <laughs> we could be the North Riders. Or the Liffey lads. How about the fucking Egypt? <laughs> I've come about the ad. What ad? The one on the paper. You have the wrong rabbit! Can I have me paper back? Fuck off! <laughs> Who are your influences? Led Zeppelin. Uh, Billy and the Bollocks. You too? <laughs> but uh, a lot of people came to the audition. Interesting. What do you play? I used to play uh, football at school. I mean, what instrument? I don't. So what are you doing here? Well, I saw everybody else lining up, so... Uh, I thought you were selling drugs. <laughs> oh, man. Uh... <laughs> you still wearing your blue side shoes, Mr. Rabbit? Fuck off, parrot head. Uh, sorry now. Any chance for me, lads? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean, no, fuck off. How are you, Jimmy? How's things? Shite. Give a bag of chips, will you? Yeah. Oh, I like the hair. Are you growing out the Sinead O'Connor? Fuck off. <laughs> Putting a band together, I need singers. Okay, I'll think about it. But they get that uh, drunk guy, guy from the wedding as the main singer, right? Because I've seen a picture him singing, so must be him then. <laughs> yeah, this guy. My name's Jimmy Rabbit. I'm putting a band together. I need a singer. And it's interesting that the ones he um, chooses are the ones not auditioning. <laughs> Some inspiration from James Brown. I'm not doing that, I need cap myself. <laughs> Maybe we're a little white for that kind of thing. Do you not get it, lads? The Irish are the blacks of Europe and Dubliners are the blacks of Ireland. And the north side Dubliners are the blacks of Dublin. So say it once, say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. <laughs> What's your name, pal? Joseph Fagan. Joey the Lips Fagan. The Lips? You're trying to tell me you play with B.B. King? Among others, brother. Like? Have we got all day? Screaming Jay Hawkins. Marta Reeves, Sam Cook, poor Sam, Joe Tex, The Four Tops, Stevie Wonder, Wilson Pickett. Why would you want to join us? The Lord sent me. The Lord blows my trumpet. 
Okay. The Lord blows his trumpet. All right. Lads, you're looking at the commitment tits. The commitment tits, you mean? Brilliant management, brother rabbit. <laughs> Brilliant management. Black and I'm proud. <laughs> well, he got confidence. Let's say that. <laughs> It's not a great sound stage, I have to say. Mustang Sally! Yes, you better slow the Mustang down. But he's good. He's a great voice. A rich voice. Powerful. I guess I gotta put the flag free. And he has that energy what he needs as a lead singer. Don't use your own accents. It's Royd Sally Royd, not Royd Sally Royd. Mustang Sally! <laughs> yes, you better slow the Mustang down. Sounds good. Not in this sound stage, but generally. Look at him. He eats like a pig. He's such a prick. <laughs> Everyone seems bored except him. He's fully in it. With all his soul. <laughs> now they need a gig. To start. But the thing is, they need success. And you can write the best music and still have no success. So that's the key point. But uh, I'm very sure that, that they succeed in the end. I have the feeling that their first gig doesn't go so well because they are very nervous and anxious and for now they have only two songs one of them mentioned and that's um, no good range and the other question is is it the right crowd for this kind of music? <laughs> uh. Sweet Jesus! She promised me she wouldn't come. Who? Me ma. I'm not going on. Oh man. <laughs> that goes so wrong. <laughs> the commitment! Yeah. Oh, no, brother rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Hurry up! <laughs> they call me Mr. Beautiful. Baby, that's my name. Okay, so far so good. He's also a great voice. <laughs> She's lifted. Now he was in the background and it looks like he doesn't like that that much. <laughs> and otherwise, when he was in the foreground, the girls didn't like it in the background. That's it, show's over. <laughs> I still don't understand what happened. You have to keep the juice from the amps and the mic separate. Derek was the earth there for a minute. Isn't that how the guy from ACDC died? Hmm. No, he choked in his own vomit. 
better than choking on somebody else's vomit. Like, uh, like the one in, uh, <laughs> what's the name? It was actually someone else's vomit. Will you stop talking hmm. to me, Joey? Oh, it's her? Huh. Interesting. So that's, that's another conflict. I said, yo, Elvis, my man, look what your daddy's after down to my trumpet, and who's going to pay to get her clean to Hmm. So. I have a feeling that he's a liar. He said, Joey the Lips, please forgive my daddy. Yeah, I got that vibe that uh, this guy is making up all the stories, and he's only in the band to sleep with the women. And uh, he has to go, I think, <laughs> if I'm right, because he's not good for the band, even though he can play the trumpet very well. But uh, maybe I'm wrong, <laughs> and I will take it all back. We should meet, just walk, walk on by, yeah. oh, <laughs> he's such a great voice, really great. You don't even change, Billy. There's no point getting me picture taken. I'm leaving the band. What? Ooh. It's Deco. I hate him. Look, he's not worth hating. He's just a big fat boy with bollocks or brains. He's a prick. It's no use, Jimmy. Lend him violence. I'm gonna have to hit him. And I'm on probation, you know. Probation? <laughs> yeah. What for? For hitting a prick just like him. For Jesus' sake, Billy, when am I gonna get a drummer as good uh, as you? You'll find someone. Ah, uh, thanks a lot. You can have the loan of me kit until you do, okay? Anyone can play the drums, Billy. So fuck off! Hmm, interesting. No, they don't have a drummer, and not everybody can play the drums. That's for sure. I'm breaking in a new drummer. Oh, this guy. <laughs> oh, no. Rock salmon, please. <laughs> huh. What is he doing there? Collecting money or what? <laughs> this guy, he beat up three other guys <laughs> alone. Mika, don't fuck with me, Wallace. <laughs> oh, yeah, literally. Ladies and gentlemen, the commitments. And, and he can play the drums. Following in the footsteps of you two and Sinead O'Connor, the commitments could be the next major act to come out of Dublin. The lead singer has a voice Bob Geldof would star for. You two, Sinead, Geldof, and us in one paragraph. Deadly one. We'll show this to me, Mammy. No, we'll show it to Wilson Pickett first. Listen, maybe I better handle this thing alone. Why? I want to meet the man. Well, it's personal. Never mind personal. You told me him and you were friends and he'd do us a favor. I know, but the last time I met Wilson, things were a bit sticky. It's personal. Yeah, he made it up. That's why. This. Apparently, Mr. Cuff has had an offer he can't refuse. Offer of what? From another band with a record deal. Ooh. Huh. So the question is, is he is he loyal enough? Or does he take the deal? I don't want be wiping those weeping eyes. Yeah. He reminds me of, of that singer from uh, CCR. Also that deep, deep throat voice. Almost yelling. Baby, don't you know that I'm the best thing you ever had? And like I said before, she has also a very great, great voice. So even if the main singer would would go, then they still have her, for example. Hmm. 
No one's coming. Wilson pick it finished an hour ago. I told you I spoke to the man. I did my best. That's not what you said. You said it was no problem. You said it was all fixed. If I find you been bullshit me, I'll run that trumpet up your ass. I swear it. I'm oh, sorry you doubt me, brother rabbit. Hmm. You didn't know who the fuck Wilson Pickett was a month ago, you stupid fucking cow. Oh, you did? Oh, I do that. Fucking more than you, right? Oh, you are my spouse. They love me. Get out of here. They're my spouse. They're my spouse. They're my spouse. They're my spouse. Hmm. Seems like everything is going down now. And that's another great song. <laughs> so many great, th great songs so far. Don't call me a fucking prick, Right in the trash. Yeah, fine, thanks. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> Written in my blood. <laughs> oh man, eh. And that's so sad. They had a great band. They had some great music. So much potential. Hmm. You lied to me, Joey. I always bought everything you told us, and I'm probably the only one who ever did. But you lied to me. I'm sorry you doubt me, brother rabbit. Look, I know you're hurting now, but in time you'll realize what you've achieved. I've achieved nothing. You're missing the point. Success of the band was irrelevant. You raised their expectations of life. You lifted their horizons. Sure, we could have been famous and made albums and stuff, but that would have been predictable. This way, it's poetry. Hmm. It's a pisser is what it is, Joey. Interesting. That's an, such an interesting character. I mean, he lied and, and such, but I think he loved what, what he has done. He's loving the music. Hmm. You know a nightclub called Gallagher's? Yeah, it's just around the corner. But it's closed now. Should go back to the hotel there, Mr. Pickett? Wait. Or wasn't he lying? Huh. <laughs> now, now I'm a little confused. I still see Derek and Outspan. They're still in the music business, mostly in Grafton Street. I try to help them out whenever I can. And of course, Dean is still playing Tosser's music. Although, I must admit, he got quite good in the end. And Billy, what happened to him, Jimmy? <laughs> God knows, Terry. The last I heard, he'd been kicked in the head shoeing a horse. Best thing that ever happened to him. <laughs> Stephen became a doctor, of course, but he says he misses the music. And Mika? He has his own band, believe it or not, Terry. Quite a success, considering he should be locked up. Imelda married Dopey Greg. There's a kid on the way, apparently. He won't let her sing anymore. Shame, really. She had a nice voice. Deco got his That was the director, contract. right? That's perfect. Isn't that him? <laughs> That's very profound, Jimmy. What does it mean? Oh, fuck the vino, Terry. All you gotta do is <laughs> That's it. Hmm. Wow. What an ending. A very realistic ending, I would say. I mean, there are so many great bands out there, but just a little fraction of them are really, really making it. So. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. I see you at the review. All right. That was it. That was the commitments. Yeah. It was a great film. It was very enjoyable. It was funny. The music was good. The acting. The directing. Yeah. <laughs> and I like the ending. I really do. And the guy in the limousine at the end was this uh, Pickett, Mr. Pickett, because he said, uh, should we go to the hotel, Mr. Pickett? So Joey wasn't lying. And uh, yeah, which make, makes sense because he was saying, uh, sorry, you doubted me. And who says that if he doesn't lie, if he, if he lies, I mean, <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, he really met all these people. <laughs> interesting. And it, it, and in general, he was an interesting character. Yeah, and very realistic ending. That so that uh, everyone lived their lives without being successful. I mean, it depends on what you consider being successful. In the end, everyone was successful in their own way, right? But not as as the band. And uh, yeah, just because this Mr. Pickett guy, just because he missed the gig. But even if he would be there, it's not uh, certain that... <laughs> yeah, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and I like the dynamic between all these characters. There were many interesting characters, especially the lead singer. He was so good. Man, he reminded me so much of the lead singer from CCR. From The Voice, I mean. He was also this uh, screaming singer, which, which is also so great. <laughs> he, and he reminded me so much of him. And this film also reminded me of uh, Sister Act. But Sister Act came out later, right? Let, let me look that up real quick. 1992, one year later. A lot of similarities between these, even though the story is completely different, but creating a band out of working class like this or out of uh, nuns in Sister Act. And yeah, I like both, both films. Yeah, comedy, drama, music, everything was in it. A lot of comedy, very funny, especially <laughs> the scene with the baby. A lot of drama were in it. Very realistically portrayed, like I said before, but uh, with all the interactions, the band members. Yeah, I can see that happening in real life. Very well written, I would say. Based on a book, I didn't know that. But yeah, makes sense. <laughs> yeah, Alan Parker, this was the second film I've watched uh, by him. And another great one. Yeah, and I know that that uh, there's an actual album from this film. So the actual soundtrack. And uh, <laughs> so be behind the scenes, the band was successful. <laughs> I think the first thing I will do is uh, look up the original songs. <laughs> because they were really great. Also, that uh, song in the in the end credits was very, very good. I have to look that up in Mustang Sally <laughs> and a few others. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's it. <laughs> I have nothing more to say. The commitments. Great film. Yes. All right. Then uh, see you next time. Bye bye.